Okay, let's have a little chat about uh, earthing. T98 alpha from GeoVital uh, needs to be earthed. Um, the reason for this is twofold. First of all, by applying the shielding paint, you are creating a highly electrically conductive surface. What that means is that if, let's say, in the future somebody is drilling into that wall with a power drill, um, and it might be faulty and it might electrocute that surface, um, unless that surface is earthed, it wouldn't trip the circuit breaker in your circuit breaker panel to cut the power, uh, which is needless to say, bad. Um, secondly though, there's a wonderful benefit with earthing the walls, is that by creating an earthed surface, um, it helps address electric field exposure, which has to do with the wiring inside the walls. Um, so we definitely want to earth it for that reason as well. Um, now there's a couple of different philosophies on that. Um, the idea basically is roughly the same, where we use this earthing tape. Um, you basically tape that around the walls, um, normally down the bottom because it's less obvious, um, up one corner somewhere and across a section of the ceiling or alongside this uh, section of the ceiling panel. So all these panels, wall panels and ceiling panel, are electrically connected via this tape. If you were two, three stories up, and then of course um, you know, our consultants would have um, talked to you about you know, the possible need to shield that floor as well. Um, so you're basically creating that circuit to keep those panels electrically connected. So if in the future, you know how sometimes there's little cracks appear, often in the corner between, uh, between walls, um, that may sever that electrical connection between the two walls, but having that tape jump from one side to the other, those panels are going to stay electrically connected. Um, that tape is then somewhere connected to ground, you can do that then in one spot, and that's effectively earthing all those panels. And now that earthing can be done in a number of different ways, it can be linked to a power point, uh, to the earth in a power point, it can also be um, connected to uh, metal piping of central heating systems, that especially all the European homes have got. Um, or it could be taken, you know, a wire could be attached, taking it under the flooring and get an electrician um, to connect it to a stake in the ground and earth it that way. Uh, in terms of the power point, which is the, the more popular option, um, there's two philosophies on that and we have a, a distinct opinion on them. Um, there is a, an accessory available, um, which is called an earthing plate. Um, an earthing plate is a piece of metal with a number of screws that you're supposed to attach to the wall. An electrical cable comes out of this plate with a power plug on it. Because you position this thing next to a power point, once the job is completed, you can take this plug, put it in the power point, and it just connects to the earthing in that power point. And well, theoretically and effectively, that, that works. The problem we feel, or what we have with this, is that if anybody in the future who may have no idea of what this earthing and this plug is all about comes into that room and needs that power point for some reason, maybe to vacuum or something else, undoes that plug, uses the power point, and then forgets to put it back in, you've just eliminated the earthing. And as it is first and foremost a safety feature, Geovital has the opinion that that should be a, that should be hardwired in. You should not be able to undo that just by accident. Um, so we feel that the earthing plate that some people sell is just an excuse to charge you another thirty dollars. Um, we don't do that. We don't have them available. Um, our philosophy is that we just simply run this tape underneath the power point as it would normally run past anyway, and then we leave that tape into the cavity of the power point and then we ask you to get an electrician to connect that tape to the earthing of that power point. The electrician also has the equipment to be able to check that that is attached properly. Um, so that's our philosophy. Um, you know, you're probably getting to know us a little bit now. Uh, we're always looking at that long term, uh, you know, that well-being of our, of our client over the, over the long time. Um, so well, let's, uh, let's apply that and let's go and have a look at what that, uh, what that looks like.
one of those rollers that has all the squeeze down on the lid, which is especially important. Mattresses. It would be interesting to now have a look and see what those levels have become.